So good morning and welcome back to Daily Transfer Update. Today we are going to speak about Thomas Lamar. Not that side, I do it every time. Uh, we're going to speak about Thomas Lamar. Now, uh, reports that were circulating last night um, were suggesting, I don't know if you can hear that, you know all that thunder? It has been proper thunder and lightning for the whole week. And when I say thunder and lightning, I mean thunder and lightning. Uh, to the point where it woke me up about four times last night um, in the sleep and that. Like, I thought somebody was burgling the gaff. Like, it was mad. Seriously, proper. And it ain't stopped raining all week. But, um, but yeah, Sunday, it's going to be back to 20 degrees again. But, um, but yeah, Thomas Lamar, reports circulating last night. Um, saying that he's agreed personal terms with Arsenal. The fee is um, is there or thereabouts been agreed at 40 million euros. And um, by all accounts coming out of Spain right now, it does look like Thomas Lamar could end up being an Arsenal player by the end of this January transfer window. Now, we all remember back to the, um, to the £92 million bid. Whether you believe that was a proper bid or not, I don't know. Uh, personally, I don't believe it. Why would they do that deal? There was a report that I see on uh, TIFO Football YouTube channel, big up them, um, that says that um, we actually sat down in front of Thomas Lamar on deadline day, but it was all a little bit too much for him. It was a little bit overwhelming. He was on international duty and um, he didn't want to proceed with the deal. So apparently the bid was 92 million. It was accepted and he bailed on the deal. Now, since he's done that, he's obviously um, he's gone on to Atletico Madrid um, 50 odd million pound deal out there and he's not really done it he's played about 60 odd games 64 i think it was and he scored about three goals four goals in that time now um what do we think of tom or what do i think of thomas lamar um jesus christ um what do i think of thomas lamar uh, personally i don't think he's that great um, although I do think that he would bring a level of balance to our team. I've said this many, many times on live streams, uh, many times on the transfer update as well, that listen, I'm not having a witch hunt against um, against Alexander Lacazette like people tell me I am. You've got an agenda, you've got it in for him, you've got this, you've got that. No, it's nothing like that at all. Um, at the end of the day, he's not really cutting the mustard right now. We're playing a Bamiyang, our best striker, on the left wing to accommodate a guy up front who can't score goals. So, um, for me, I would do this deal with Thomas Lamara, put a Bamiyang up front. Does that mean um, Lacazette then goes out the club? Well, if that's the case, then so be it. The reports that I've read um, are not suggesting that we're going to do a swap deal or anything like that. It's just a straight deal. We're going to get Thomas Lamar. So, um, I think, like I said, the balance of the team would be a lot, lot greater. Um, would actually have a left-footed player on the left side. Um, although he can cut in, he does do that a lot for Atletico. He cuts in on his right-hand side and he's equally as good with his right as well. Um, but I'd take it for £33 million, I think it equates to in uh, pounds sterling um, from €40 million, Euros, roughly there or thereabouts, £33 million. I think that's a no-brainer. I think that's a cheap deal. Um, and they want to cut ties with him. He's not really fitted the mould of that club. And um, who knows? We've seen players um, go abroad and flop and come back and do all right. And sometimes the club's not the right fit. So uh, for me, I'd take him um, and hopefully we get it done and get it done quick. Like I said, this report came out last night. Um, let's hope and pray that we can get this deal done as quick as possible because we're running out of days. It's a week of the transfer window left to go. Now, um, let's move on to Mesut Ozil. Uh, my mate, let me move out the way so you can see him. Mesut Ozil is down, he's looking down at me. He's looking down at me. Maybe, uh, maybe that's what he does when he's on the football pitch, looks down at people. Um, but honestly, all jokes aside, he is linked with DC United. Now, he's got less than 18 months left on his contract. Um, the mega bumper deal that he signed just over two years ago, um, 350 grand a week. And he's recorded four assists since signing that. Now, um, everybody who's a long-time viewer of this channel knows my thoughts about Mesut Ozil. I don't want him here. The quicker he goes, the better. Now, um, whether he's going to go in the summer or not remains to be seen. He's said in many, many um, reports that he's done over the last year, 18 months or so, that he wants to, to see his career out at Arsenal. He wants to stay in London. He loves it. The PR, the PR, the PR. 
Um, but he has opened the coffee shop and he has got one in America, funny enough. Um, so there's reports coming out in America uh, today that suggest that he is going to go there at some point. Doesn't say when, um, but I'd imagine that he'd run down this massive deal that he's on and um, and he'll end up in America. And listen, America, no disrespect. I know I've got a lot of American subscribers. The league is not the greatest. Um, he probably would look good out there. And um, that's not knocking him, but he's fallen so far from the, the top tier of football over the years that it's just embarrassing for the fella now. And, um, you know, like I watched him the other night against Chelsea. He was anonymous, absolutely anonymous against Leeds United, anonymous, Leeds. Like, I just I've, I just don't get the hype around him. I don't understand um, the, the hype behind this guy. The assist king, well, that's a load of rubbish because Virgil van Dijk's got more. Um, Alisson, the goalkeeper at Liverpool, has got the same amount this season. To Stegen and Courtois have got more assists this season. It's just a load of rubbish. It's living off of past glory um, to make out this geezer still good when the fact and reality of it is he's been finished for a long, long time, three years perhaps, which is when I first started, ironically, calling him out about three years ago. Um, you know, I, I watched Liverpool last night against Wolverhampton Wanderers. Trent Alexander-Arnold's hit double figures for assists this season. Um, the last time he did that was 2016. We are now in 2020. Um, so listen, a right back getting double figures. Kevin De Bruyne is everything that people think he is. Um, I've I've just seen enough to know that he ain't great. And I've seen that for a long time. More and more people see it. More and more people have seen it over the years now. But there's a lot of people that still believe, and Arteta is one of them, funny enough, that um, if you play him in the starting 11, build the team around him, make Meza comfortable, get the temperature, the air, uh, air temperature at 14.25 degrees, get the grass at 4.1 millimetres. Um, and now nah, I'm just sick of it. Why has everything got to suit this guy? Yeah, how about get rid, split the wages up, divide that by two or three players um, and move forward as a football club without this circus, without the bandwagon that follows him, without all the PR crap that he comes out with. Just cut ties, just get rid, pay his contract off, let him go. Um, that's what I would do. But listen, I could sit and do 10 hours talking about how much I can't stand this geezer at this club and how I think he's taken liberties. Um, we'll move on. <laughs> um, we will move on because, like I said, I could sit here forever banging on about him and there's no need for that when we can go on about Scodra Mustafi instead. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're going to go on about Scodra Mustafi. Now, I did my stream last night about Mustafi. Um, his dad has come out um, and basically said that um, they're open to offers. They're open to offers. Um, I'll actually read you what he said um, for anybody who missed the stream last night. Um, his dad, I didn't even know his dad was his agent. I thought he got a new agent. I didn't realise it was his dad. Um, but his dad came out with this. He said he's currently having a difficult time in London. Um, no shit, Sherlock. Um, but he's not someone who spreads unrest and brings bad spirits to the team or the club. That is very true. Yeah, he has been the model professional, regardless of whether he's any good at football or not. Um, or any good at defending, he has been the model professional. He hasn't come out and thrown the armband on the floor like another one. And he hasn't come out with all the talk. Um, yes, he came out with saying on Arsenal.com about the haters, the trolls, etc. Listen, I get enough of them, mate. Yeah. You just got a thick skin. Some people haven't got that. They act differently. I get it. But credit to him, he's took it well. Um, his father then went on to say um, if something good were to come now, we would think about it. Um, we're not going to hell looking for a change. I'm not surprised when you're on 90 bags a week, my friend. Um, it must make sense and a fit for him. Squadron is one of those who will show us the way and give us a direction. Uh, yeah, normally it's back the way. Um, there is always a market for an internationally experienced defender. We always get inquiries. He felt very comfortable in Italy and Spain. He has never played in Germany, so maybe that's an option. Then he has played in the top four leagues. Um, yeah. I don't know how, but miracles do happen, people. Um, but yeah, listen, if you want to check out my, more of my thoughts on him, uh, go and check out my live stream from last night. It was the nine o'clock stream. I spoke a little bit more about him. Um, answer some of the comments and questions in the chat as well. Do subscribe to the channel. Do stick a thumbs up on the video. And also, um, do go and follow my Facebook and my Instagram. Thank you to nearly 4,000 people that are following my Facebook. Um, all the live streams will be streamed on Facebook as well. Um, as well as for, uh, YouTube. So listen, go and show some love to that. I'd really appreciate it. Until five o'clock tonight, 
Laters, peeps.